you talked about your time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Your time with the Lord. But you're not preparing for an, an exhortation. You're just preparing you. Right. How, how, what does I it look love like? to journal. Okay. My time okay. with the Lord, mm -hmm. it's my Bible, mm -hmm. it's my journals. Okay. okay, okay. I have different journals yeah. for different, my pastor's wife journal, okay. my California journal, mm -hmm. my anger journal. Okay. Um, I just have different journals, yeah. and um, but I won't write things without tying it to scripture. Even when I'm venting and oh, letting everything out, that is good. I get it out. But now, what does the word have to say oh, about this? Oh, that's and good. And that makes a big difference mm -hmm. because I read something recently, and it said that the mind feasts on what we focus on. Yes, ma'am. And so, if I only wrote the negative things, mm -hmm. that would become my focus. Yes. And so I can get it out. It's almost like. A present day Psalms. David wrote the Psalms. Yes. Lord, kill my enemies. Get those that are right. coming against me. He got it out and then I'll bless the Lord at mm. all times. His praise shall continually yes. be in my mouth. Or sometimes he encouraged himself in the mm. Lord. And that's what my time with the Lord looks like. I okay. do have a Bible reading plan that I've had for years. And so every year yeah. I read through the entire Bible. Mm, every year, but okay. Every year, it yeah. doesn't get old. Yeah. And now that was almost a bucket list thing. Okay. Well, I'm a Christian and a first lady. Yeah. I should have read the Bible <laughs> cover to cover. Right, right. It seems like I should. Yeah. And, and I read the Bible, but not intentionally, like I'm gonna read the entire Bible. Yeah. And it started with getting one of those Bible in a year Bibles. Uh -huh. yeah, and yeah. I read it every day and it's like, don't wait until January to start. Okay. I think it was April. I jumped in okay. in April okay. and I just started reading until mm -hmm. I got to the end of March and I had read the entire Bible wow. and now it's a habit. Every year, that's every amazing. Year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did that two or three years ago and um, it was quite an experience, but I, uh, when I was at the gym, I put the headphones on, mm -hmm. and read it there, but it wasn't, it was a little distracting, so I stopped right. doing that. <laughs> but that's neat that you do that every year. I yeah. do. Yeah. Do you have times where you just want to pull away? Oh, yes, all the time. All the time. I is do. that because of your personality or, or you just oh, need it? Part of it is definitely my personality. Okay. Um, naturally, yeah. I'm an introvert. Okay. Okay. I yeah. love people. Yeah. People drain me. Okay. And, and they just drain me. Mm. After Sunday, I'm peopled out. Okay. I love people. If we have a Saturday event uh -huh. and then church, it's, oh my God. Yeah. You know, I'm wiped out. Yeah. yeah. I am, I feel depleted. Okay. And so solitude is mm. what recharges me. Gotcha. I love reading. I love mm -hmm. books. If I can immerse myself in a book. Yeah. Bubble baths. Yes. I like to walk. Mm -hmm. I have a hyper dog that requires a lot of walking. Yeah. yeah. And that's become time for me to, I can walk the dog and pray. Mm -hmm. I can walk the dog and talk to the Lord. I can mm. walk the dog and learn how to worship. My time in my car, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like worship on wheels. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so good. private. Yeah. I can pray in yes. my car. I can listen to teaching tapes in my car. Yes. I can listen to music in mm -hmm. my car. And when we first moved to Detroit, I didn't know the area. Yeah. And so I was so dependent on the navigation system right. that I couldn't be distracted with the radio mm -hmm. or music or teaching tapes. I had to listen to the navigation system. And it uh, dawned on me, I'm missing a lot of quiet time in the car because mm -hmm. I'm in a foreign area yeah. and I'm very dependent. I don't know where I'm going and I'm getting lost every day. Uh -huh. And so, um, but now that we've been there mm -hmm. three months, yeah. I have driven two times without the navigation system mm -hmm. and listening to the radio. Yeah. Your husband was the first Christian ministry I listened to in Detroit on the radio in my car. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, hallelujah, praise yeah. God. <laughs> I heard Pastor Tony Evans yeah. today and it was like, in my car, it was yes. a, the car is a big deal yeah. to me. Yes, so. yes, it is for me too. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to just have, I call it just having church. Absolutely. I mean, if I pray to the top of my lungs or, yes. or just praise him, right. I just, I know people think <laughs> sometimes I'm a crazy lady, but, but I'm yes, having a good awesome time. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, how about your time with you and Pastor Paul? 
how do you intentionally work out time or set aside time for the two of you? Oh, we've learned boundaries so well. Okay. The kind of lifestyle that we have now, we've had to. Okay. Um, so we make it a priority. Okay. We keep it a priority. Mm -hmm. We okay. still go out on dates. Mm -hmm. We ride together. I'm just going to the store to run some errands here. Come with me. Uh -huh. We make sure we spend time together. You actually ride bikes or a motorcycle? Which one? Oh my gosh, not anymore. He <laughs> okay. used to ride the motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Those days are over. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um,